Hi, welcome to a video tutorial from Robojax. In this video, we are going to test and see this relay timer that connects or turns on an AC load between 0 to 10 seconds. So let's see and check this. This relay can be used to, uh, with uh, AC and DC load. Make sure that this is not placed on a metal or conductive surface and it should be well protected. And when it's connected to the power, do not ever touch this module. So the relay module has uh, two LEDs. This is a power LED. This is the uh, energize of relay. When the relay is turned on, this blue light will uh, go on. So I'm going to disconnect it now so I can explain it better without the light. So we have inputs here and this pin is connected to VCC to the 12 volts and from this side it will be connected to the ground. I've tested this that the system can work up up to 8.2 volts so if you're using it with 9 volts it will uh, should be able to work. And on this side we have three connections for the relay. These two pins on this side are normally open and these two are normally closed or connected so when you put your wires one wire should be here and the other wire should be either there or here depending on if, of your application if you connect the other wire here when the relay is energized it will be connected but if you connect your wires here without any power it will be connected but when the relay energizes this will disconnect this. so you can find a way to use it in that situation as well and then we have a multi-turn potentiometer here. With this one, you can determine the timing of how long it takes before the relay will go on when you power it up. So when you power this up, it takes some, a while and the time is determined by this potentiometer. So if you rotate it clockwise, the time will be the increased. And if you rotate it counterclockwise, the time will be decreased. It needs at least 10 or 15 turns uh, or less or more before you can see the change so make sure that you turn it so many times so you can see the effect because this is multi-turn now a length of the module is 67.6 millimeter so the width of the module is 21.1 millimeter and the depth of the module including these pens that are out is 19.1 millimeter and it weighs 16.4 grams We have to consider and understand the, uh, the, the amount of load or the power of the load that you're connecting. So this at 250 volts in Asia and Europe, which you have 240 or 220 volts, it will be 10 ampere and 125 at 125, which is North America and Japan, will be 15 amp. So what you do is in your calculation, make sure that uh, let's say you have 240 volts multiply by 10 ampere so you can connect up to 2400 watt or 2.4 kilowatt keep that in mind that that is the maximum and if you're in north america so 120 times 15 so this will be 1800 watt or 1 1.8 kilowatt if you overload this module the contacts will melt down and also remember that the voltage should be 12 volts in order for the contact to uh, hold uh, tightly for the current because if you have lower voltage the power that is holding the contact will be decreased and then there will be sparks and then the meltdown so that's also a factor and you have to remember that is now 12 volts I'm connecting it to a 12 volts power supply so now it's turned on but the timer 555 I see with this potentiometer is the selecting this time that will uh, energize the relay so the time can be adjusted uh, from here so if you rotate it to the right the time will increase and if you rotate it to the left it will decrease but remember that this is multi-turn potentiometer so you have to do at least 10 or 15 turns before you will reach to a point that the change will be reflected so so
So I have reduced the time now when I turn it off. Let's see. One, two. So almost two seconds. So it becomes two seconds. So I have to increase it. I'm turning it right a few turns. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six more turn to the right. One, two, three, four, five. So now it's about five seconds. So this can be adjusted between zero to ten seconds. So that the time, the timer that uh, keeps this really on, or if you can connect it and reverse, it will turn off something which initially will be on. That can be used in many applications. So. I will not suggest uh, an example, but you will find a use for this. So that's it. So this is the module. Thank you for watching. Please thumb up the video and also share it uh, and subscribe.